singing in the rain. Yes, I'm singing. Oh, hey there. <laughs> it's not really raining. I'm inside, and this is not a real umbrella. It's called the Brella Shade, and it's by Sharper Image, and it's actually a pop-up windshield umbrella for your car. That sounds neat, doesn't it? That's what we're going to look at today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at this Brella shade to see if it's any good. Here's the Brella shade that I purchased for about 20 bucks from my local As Seen on TV retailer. Now that being said, it was in the As Seen on TV aisle. It just doesn't have any As Seen on TV logo on it, but there's all-star innovation. So, all right, let's open this up. Cut some tape already. There, oop, there was a plastic that it came out of, I guess. All right, so here's some directions and our Barella shade, that's pretty cool. Now, my guess is we're just gonna open this up. Is there a button I push to uh, expand this? What? Hold on, let me read the directions and we'll open this up. I'm not gonna say that I'm disappointed, but right away I'm disappointed. This is all manual. So what you're supposed to do first is you just open it up, undo the Velcro like I did, you pull this handle down, and then inside here, let's see if I can get a little light on this. All right, inside here, you're supposed to just push and then you're gonna expand it. What I'm gonna do is I'll take it outside just so you can see what it looks like, but that's the process. All right, so let's do this. Pulling this out, opening it up, and there you have <laughs> your complete window coverage. I will say, let me turn this around. There is a spot right here in the front that you can open up, it's just Velcro, where you can fit your mirror through. Just be careful not to bend your wire here. To bring this all back together when we're done, push the button, bring it down, and then here's where you have to get creative and fold this back around again. And then these, this little Velcro strap can just wrap around a few times. It looks like it goes this way. And they say you can just drop this in your glove box when you're done. Let's try it in the car. When I first got this, I was very excited because I can just quick open it up, stick it in, but guess what? I can't. It doesn't fit half the time. There's only about a nine to 10 inch clearance between my dashboard here and the mirror. So what I find myself having to do is put this up here and then start to open it. But I push the different pieces in place and then I can click it there and, and hook it up all together. Now it does keep it cooler, at least up here where the front windshield is. It's just sort of inconvenient to install it. So this car is a little smaller, but the distance between here or the dashboard and the mirror is, is wider, right? The only problem is I have two different levels here on my dashboard. So when I install it here, I have to be pretty particular that these spoke parts of the umbrella part does not get stuck. Once I get it there, cinch it around and it's in. Takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, your application might be different, but this is just showing you what it was like in a smaller car than the SUV. For those of you Jeep owners, this one's for you. Now mind you, I should say Jeep Wrangler. It doesn't fit. You cannot get it in here to get your window covered. So Jeep Wrangler owners, you need to get a different type of window cover for the summer. So tell me, have you used a pop-up window shade like this before, either the Sharper Image Brella shade or another kind? What did you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. In addition to using the Brella shade every single day for a week, I wanted to sort of see what it would look like after a year's worth of use. So I opened it and closed it over 730 times. I figured that equals two times a day for 365 days. I got 730 plus times opening and closing this. What I noticed is towards the end, it was definitely a whole lot droopier as I closed it and the pieces didn't really cinch up like they used to. Now, I was able to bend them back up and Velcro them in together, but it did not spring back like it did originally. In my opinion, that just means it's gonna continue to wear down over time. 
I've noticed after I've opened and closed this a number of times, it gets a little more and more difficult to close. These spoke parts right here start to bend and that gets a little frustrating. So when you go to close it, it just sort of flops and you actually have to pull it back up together. So it definitely wears down with extended use. In this video, we were looking at the Brella Shade. It's a pop-up window shade by Sharper Image. So what did I think about this? Well, it's in that typical as seen on TV price point, the 20 to $25, so that I didn't really mind. Um, the company says it covers most windows, and I would say that. The larger vehicle, my SUV, it covered from one side to the other. Um, I said the same thing for my smaller vehicle. The only thing I didn't like was when I was putting it in the window, either the dashboard or the mirror was in my way, so there's a lot of finagling and getting used to that you have to figure out. Um, I tried to simulate a year's worth of use by opening and closing it 700 plus times, and I did notice halfway through, man, those wires weren't bending as easy. They were sort of stretching one way or the other, and then at the end, <laughs> You know how this thing used to pop up? Well, now it just hangs down like a regular umbrella. So it does wear down over time, as I noted. Um, but that being said, I'm still going to use it. I think this would be great for people who are like RVers in an RV park. You want something quick and easy to throw up in your RV window? Throw up the umbrella shade. That's pretty sweet. I will keep it in my glove box and use it. Um, if this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you... Have a great day. Let's prep the Brella shade for storage. So you remember how this just doesn't close in all the way. So I actually fold it up. You have to be really careful because these metal pieces bend very easily. And if you can see this one, it, they're very thin, so it's not hard to break. So what I end up doing is I get it pulled around as best I can, making sure not to lose your Velcro part because once this is lost inside, it's hard to find again. And then I just wrap it around a few times to get it all nice and snug. Doesn't look as pretty as it did when I first got it, but it does the job. And then here, once I get it to this point, I'm able to drop it into my glove box and it's ready for the next time that I need to use it. Pretty simple. So they advertise that you can throw this right into your glove box and I don't necessarily keep anything in this glove box because I have other storage so it does fit for me but it may not fit every glove box. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Brella Shade. You know what was funny? When I was trying this out in my camper, I looked down and what did I see? My phone holder that fits in a cup holder. Remember that one, the cup call? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that video right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And by the magic of the internet, when you click right here, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.